guys, this is Oscar at Nordgrad on Twitter, and I'm going to show you very quickly how to transfer your website from WordPress.com to a self-hosted WordPress.org blog that lives in your own hosting, where you have full control over all the content, all the plugins, and the theme without any restrictions by WordPress.com. It's rather simple, so I'm not going to stop in every location to tell you what I'm doing. But on the left hand side here, we have access to our host account. This is the new account where you're going to install the new website or the migrated website. On the right hand side, we have the old website. And I'll show you really quick. In this case, we're transferring surfcityfamily.wordpress.com. This is a local website for Huntington Beach, and they have decided to step up their game and move into a self hosted WordPress website. The way to do that is that you go into your dashboard. Once you're in your dashboard, you can go to Tools and then find the export link. That's where we are right now. And you're going to select the first option, the one that says create an XML containing your post, comments, and all that stuff. We're going to select export. This is a very simple process. It guides you through it. Then most likely you are going to select the all content option. Once you click this, then you will click on download export file. However, this is a special case for this and we're actually going to pick specific blog posts that we want. We don't want to bring everything over. There's over 250 posts in here I think, but a lot of them the owner doesn't want to transfer over. So we're going to leave them here and we're only going to transfer a particular set of blog posts. Prior to this step, we categorized all the blog posts we wanted into one category so that we could find them in this step. I'm going to show you how that works. Instead of clicking all content, we're going to click on post. Notice this drop down uh, options come in. And here you can select what categories you want to export, or authors, or a date range, or whether um, the, post has, the, the posts that you want to export have been published, scheduled, they're pending, and, or different other, other different statuses. In this case, we know that we made a new category, and we made that category called export. SSF. Now, I don't know if you can see this because at the very bottom of my screen, I'll try to make this a little better for you. But the categories at the very bottom, there's a category that we call export. We just simply create a category and put every post that we wanted in that category. Then we click on download export file. Notice that Chrome automatically starts downloading it. It's a super quick download and it's right here. So I know that this is now available. Now we're going to go into our host and install WordPress. We simply go and find the WordPress button. Very easy to do. Click on that, wait a minute. It should... Okay, once it comes up, you can do um, the installation script, which is right here. In this case, we are using Bluehost. Not my favorite host, but it's very good host anyway. Click on install. That gives you different options. What version of WordPress do you want? You always want to install the latest version unless for some particular reason you need to install an earlier version. Generally, you don't want to do that. For most cases, stick to the very latest uh, version available. Then you're going to pick the domain that you need. In this case, it's surfcityfamily.com. We are going to click on surfcityfamily.com with a www and we're going to leave it just as it is then you have other options if you want to configure them for example this is where you can change uh, the administrator username and password so that you get to pick your own uh, in this case we are going to change that because we don't want to give it uh, uh, the default admin password as a general rule of thumb for security you want to change the username for the administrator account from admin to something else, so we might as well do it in the beginning um, right here. And you're not going to see what I change it to just for security purposes. The next step you'll see will be um, this option down here. So I'm going to freeze the video for a minute. Okay, I decided to just block that area where the username and password are, and you can now see that there's a few more options. I personally don't like to leave these options checked. They're not really useful for me or for my clients in this case, so I uncheck these three boxes over here. Then go to step number four, which means um, you're going to agree to their terms and um, agreements. Click on complete, 
and this will install your WordPress website at the new domain. In the meantime, I am going to copy the password that I generated with my handy LastPass plugin. Once you see that this has installed, you can actually go to the website and try to log in, make sure that it works. And it looks like everything's working. So let's go check it out. On the home page, we have the default WordPress theme ready to go. Hello world is waiting for us. How exciting. So you have another step. Now is the next step is to bring in that export that we did earlier on surfcityfamily.wordpress.com. Remember we exported all this stuff. We have one file right here, so we'll go and find it. And it's right here. Great. So now we have it. I'm gonna put that to the side for a minute. In WordPress over here, you're going to go to the Tools section and click on the Import button. Now, you need to pay attention here because WordPress does not come with a built-in importer. You have to install it as a plugin. So once you click on Import, notice that you have several options here. One of the options is WordPress. But once you click on WordPress, you're actually prompted to install the WordPress importer uh, plugin. So we're going to go ahead and install that. Activate and run the plugin. Once you get to this point, you can choose the file that we selected over here. And if you remember my little trick, handy dandy trick, um, we simply grab this, move it over here, and it puts us right where we need it. Okay, so we click open. Now we have the file right here, waiting for us to upload the file and import it. I want to first show you that our posts are completely empty, only our hello world post is available. In fact, we're going to delete that because we don't want to leave any junk here. We're going to do the same thing for pages. And there's a sample page which we're going to trash. And of course, close this tab. We're back at our importer. And we selected the file already. It's waiting for us. And we simply have to say upload file and import. Let's see how that goes. I will be prompted to make some choices. For example, do I want to import the exist existing author or do we want to assign it to our administrator? If you had other authors, you could create them in advance and select that to be the destination or the author to which certain posts will be assigned to. In this case, we actually wanted to bring in the authors that were part of the other blog, both Marcy T and Timothy Taylor. So we are simply going to let it do its thing. Import author Marcy Taylor. If you don't want that, that's when you can either create a new author or select an existing one. But because we want the default, we're going to leave it untouched. The other option that you have is to download and import the file attachment. So if you have pictures, PDFs, or movies that are attached to the WordPress blog, the original blog over here, and I know that they do, you can take a look. So all these pictures and more pictures and things like this will be brought over automatically if you use the download and import file attachment. So we're going to click on that, hit submit. Now this is going to run through. If you have a lot of posts, it may take a few minutes. If you only have a few posts, it should be fairly quickly. If you notice, I hadn't even finished talking when this had finished. So let's take a look at what happened. We go to all posts. We now have a lot of posts here, about 46 items, and you can see that by the count right here. If we go to the home page, you can see that they are, there it is, Wordless Wednesday, Downtown Surf City Nights. And here you go, it's the same post over here, and we have comments. So there are the two comments, look, even the, the images come up, so the pictures are there. And everything is pretty much ready to go. Of course, you still have to install a theme, configure WordPress the way you want it to work. But notice we have all the categories, all the dates, comments, recent post, and of course, you can actually see the post all here. So this is how um, you're able to export WordPress.com 
import them into your own self-hosted WordPress and then customize your installation to get whatever experience you want. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to assist you. If you have any questions about how to do something in WordPress, ask me at Not a Grouch on Twitter or go to ocweb.pro/ask. Thank you and have a great day.